It's a Sunday at the drum shop. Usually we don't do Sundays, but snowstorm Friday. Bill had stuff yesterday, so we're pulling a Sunday. I picked up the rocket fuel. It's hotter than the sun again, so can't neck that. We got Marine Pearl ready to rope and press. We got these three drums ready to assemble rope and press. This one's got a few questions. If we want to plug holes, if we want to cut bearing edges, or if we just want to leave it as is. I'm sure I'll find about that one soon. Yeah, just text the client, so. And Bill's fixing nutcrackers, because his kids love playing with them, and therefore they get broken. Yeah, these things are, are you can get them at like Christmas tree shop or anywhere over the holidays. They are made to be decorations, they are not made to be toys, but my kids freaking love these things. This is probably the Guitar Center drum yes. that we're timing. I didn't touch that one. I was figured we'd work on that together so we could keep up with the, the timing. All right, so we might be able to get maybe three orders out today. Maybe. Uh, yeah, probably. All right, we'll get also, back to you. the client on this asked for, um, for indentations to be able to grab it with the snare basket. Damn it. So that's easy, though. And he's out of the country right now anyway, so he's like, oh, cool, yeah. Do you think you could just do that and then, you know, I'll pick it up whenever I'm back in town? Got this one roped up. Something about black rope. I just like it. It looks cool, man. Now these three little pigs. We had to make counter cuts on these hoops so they'd fit over the heads. Got the felt cut and glued to the back of the ears. He's pressing up the marine pearl. This thing is gonna be pretty cool. I was close to fighting weight, and I don't think those three donuts are gonna help. <laughs> yep, that was a good hot lunch. This came out of the loft. It's gonna get cleaned up by the parents and given to a school. Bill gets gifted free kits all the time and just re-gifts them. Last week I took the remaining brocades from PASIC over to the local drum shop, to Senzo's drum shop. So those should be online for sale, probably this week. Rope tension kit, I think Bill wants to play that, but I probably forgot how to play, so that's gonna be a problem. <laughs> These are old hardware holes. Who knows how many different setups have been on this thing. But we're plugging them. Just taping around them and getting them flush without messing up the finish. That's gonna be the trick. It's also starting to look like a tramp stamp from the early 2000s. <laughs> Bill's fancy little basket feet. Yep. So now uh, you can you can put it on a snare stand or the basket will grab onto those and uh, then they're also the feet if you have it on a tabletop. So I think I'll put a little like uh, felt on the bottom of those or something. I haven't quite decided how I'm going to do that yet but um, yeah that's the last thing to do on this. I, I thought it was done I was just going to put little felt 
pads on the bottom. But um, the client asked if if it could have something to mount to a snare stand, which I think is a pretty good idea, really. Um, so this is what I've come up with. And if it wasn't already assembled and painted, the easiest thing to do would have been to drill three holes with a Forstner bit. Yeah, that, that's what I was gonna do, but then, like, it, it was, now that it's all put together, and since I didn't, like, make the insides with that in mind, those holes would have all fallen in kind of like weird, inconvenient places. So I decided to just add these. And then they work as standoffs for when it's on a tabletop anyway, so it kind of seems like, you know, seemed like a good idea. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see how hard it is to get felt on them. Check out the fancy prescription safety glasses, ladies. I know, right? And guys. Pretty sweet. The hoops came out pretty nice. Yeah. That's just done with like a, a cricket type stencil and then she paints it and then pulls off the template. Yeah, yeah, she, just, she has a vinyl plotter and yeah, it just makes herself a, a stencil. Which I guess I could do too, but I don't know. I feel weird about that. <laughs> her design, I don't know. Trying to color match the plugs with some trans tint. This drum has been through it. Dents, dings, gouges, multiple holes, cracks. I wonder how old it is. So our buddy Steel needs 30 cast feet and he doesn't want to polish them. Neither do I, but here we are. sidewalk and then everyone scoops it off the sidewalk back into the street? Yeah, it's <laughs> technically illegal to throw snow into the street. Oh. Oh. Yeah, it sucks. Just throw it all onto Jim's yard. Yeah, Jim got a snowblower, which is awesome. Most of the time he'll come through and do our sidewalk. I guess since every time it snows, Joey and I clear like five houses. Yeah. Granted, he has a snowblower and I'm just doing the cleanup work. Dude. Looks like my house after staying in a joint compound all week. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
contrasting snare. It's cool. Yeah. Trying to play it standing up without falling off the table. Not so easy. Alrighty, Minuteman was plugged, color matched. Hoops are ready to start getting red paint. Guitar Center drums saw some more action today. These three just need the snares to dry and then they get trimmed and they're done. Rope tension kit packed, shipped to Sweden with uh, good insurance. 30 feet for steel, polished, powder coated, gets shipped out. This one just needs snares and the drag rope and then she's out. Yeah. Man, you should work Sundays more often. I know, right? <laughs> Knocked out a bunch of stuff. <laughs>